Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. This video here, I'll be doing a screen replacement on a Dell laptop computer. So let me turn it around and I'll show it to you, the model number. So here it says Dell P75F or P75F008. Here it says Dell Inspiron 3585, the model number. All right, so let me show you the crack screen. So I'll turn it on the computer. And as you can see, there's lines all over the screen and the LCD is all shattered. So what I'll do, the first thing is press and hold the power button. Let's go ahead and turn off the computer. The next step I'll be doing is to remove the bezel. As you can see, the bezel here has no screws holding on it. In other words, the way they're going to hold the bezel is there must be a, like a double-sided tape all around the bezel that holds this plastic here okay, onto the screen. So what you can do is you can get one of this prying tool or anything that you can stick it in in between the, the cover here, the silver cover and the bezel what you want to do is you want to get some opening okay so so you want to hear that crack noise that means you're separating the bezel away from that that back plate here alright so Let's go ahead and be gentle, slowly lift it up. While you're doing that, you can also feel like you're separating that double-sided tape. I'm not going to I'm not going to uh, tape the bezel back on. So what I mean by that is whatever that is left over. So as you can see, the tape is still here. Some of them are still here, be, being sticky still. So I'll be reusing the same tape and tape the bezel back onto it. Uh, but if you want to replace the tape, you can get one of these uh, double-sided tape here. Okay, so get one of these tape, tape the bezel, and then put it back. But for, for me, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to skip that part. But if you want to do it, I'll have the, uh, the tape in the description below. You can buy them and just tape it back on. With, with, with what I have here, that should be enough to tape the bezel back on. And also, they have this clipper. And that clipper would also hold it nicely. So it is your personal choice. See what you want to do, but uh, let's move on. Okay, so as you can see, this is the screen by itself. Um, there are four screws holding onto the screen. One, two, three, and four. So let's go ahead and remove the screw. Alright, once you have the screws removed, you can slowly tilt the screen towards yourself. And here you can see that the cables are still connected to the LCD. So this is a 40 pin connector. As you can see, I'll let me turn it on the other side. And there's this tape that's holding on to the LCD. So first you need to do is you need to you know peel the tape a little bit and there is a little clipper this little LCD clipper you need to flip it up okay so once you have this safety clipper that is open now you can pull that connector away from the LCD Alright, so at this point here, your LCD will just come right out without any problem. And what I'll do is, I'll show it to you. 
here is where you need to look for the model number. So for this is B156 XTK01.0. Or you can look it up on this model number as well. This is where you can find the replacement screen for your model. So for my case, I have a new screen here that is ready to go. Okay, so let me go ahead and do the installation. If you're curious where I buy the screen, I'll link it in the description below as well. Um, probably you can get it from eBay or maybe from Amazon. I'll have it, you know, in the description below. And you can just click on the link and that's how you're going to get it. Alright, so I have the connector connect to the screen and do not forget the clipper. Push the clipper back down and that's how you lock that safety connector on and make sure you have to tape and tape it securely. Right, so you have the connector, the safety pin, clip, clipper, clip it on and put the tape back on. So at this point you lift the screen up. Okay, what I'll do is I'll lay it down here so it's for me to do the filming and I'm gonna put the screws back on Alright, before I go any further, what I'll do is I'll try to turn on the computer, make sure I have a display, make sure I can see everything correctly and it works. As you can see, the Dell is looking good, it's running the system scan. Oh yeah, there's one of the things here, you do not forget to peel this plastic off. This is just a protective film. When you buy the new screen, it comes with it and you can just peel it off. Okay, so once you have that removed, I think we can stop the testing. I'm not here to show you the testing on the hardware. Like you go through the hard drive test, the RAM test and whatnot. So we're just gonna abort the testing for now. I just wanted to show you that the screen works and it would boot to the window after. All right, at this point, what I'll do is I'll do a force shutdown. Uh, it's all right, I'll just let it boot to window. It's going to run through the recovery system. You, you're not supposed to, to get these messages. Um, I think that the computer was not shut down properly at the very beginning stage. So it was doing this recovery process and whatnot. Um, that is why you're seeing all this, all this thing. So, uh, you know, the purpose of, of this video is to show you the screen replacement. So we're just gonna do the screen replacement. I'll turn off the computer. I just, what I did was just press and hold the power button and just turn it off. All right, now, sorry about that. Let's come back to the screen replacement. I just wanted to show you that the screen works. Um, you just wanna test it up and make sure before you put the bezel back on. All right, so here's the bezel. Uh, what you wanna do is you want to slide it, slide it in first, right? So you match the, slide it in. So like this part and this part right here, gotta go onto the base. So slide it in a little bit. Make sure you tuck it in and try to align your try to align your your webcam. So once you have the webcam in the right position, align, press a few click on it. You know, so at least you know that everything is securely on the top. So whatever sit flush here on the top. You should push all the way on the side to sit flush at the bottom part here. So I'll lift the screen up a little bit. 
and as I press it down and that should push the bezel to sit flush at the bottom part here okay so I'll come back here on the other side push it push it push it down and it will sit flush so when it comes to this part what I'll do is I'll just press it down all right and then here you just want to slowly and press it for the double-sided tape to glue it back on all right so there you have it the screen is replaced it's all good to go and if you have any question just comment below I'm more than happy to uh, answer your questions but it should be quite straightforward process to do this replacement screen uh, it's not that difficult to do that so I wish you luck and wish you all the best if you want to replace the screen by yourself and hopefully this video helps give you a step by step and also give you a better understanding on how to do the screen replacement. Alright, until next time, please take care. I'll see you again soon. Bye.